what you're looking at, this is Rotorfly dashboard. Uh, gives you your heli image. It also gives you your battery, uh, your voltage, your total voltage, uh, cell voltage, and your milliamps consumed. This is the BEC voltage and your ESC temperature. These are your rates and profile. Hello everyone, Kevin Dover with A-Main Hobbies and XD Fly. Uh, we're going to do a quick overview on some of the features of uh, the XD Fly ESC. This is a 195. Um, and also, Rotorfly Dashboard, which everyone's uh, loving and enjoying. So we're going to get into the ESC2 dashboard and uh, make some changes. Just kind of demonstrate for the people out there so they see how simple it is to uh, do forward programming on your XD Fly ESC. So let's get right into it. We're powered up. Uh, what you're looking at, this is Rotorfly dashboard. Uh, gives you your heli image. It also gives you your battery, uh, your voltage, your total voltage, uh, cell voltage, and your milliamps consumed. This is the BEC voltage and your ESC temperature. These are your rates and profile. You make a change. And this is your governor, which shows you the state of the governor. So if we arm this arm, it's reflected there and you just hit throttle hold and you're ready to go. All right, so let's get into Rotorfly dashboard. Uh, if you, I'm just gonna go through some basic settings for Rotorfly dashboard uh, system page over, you go to Rotorfly dashboard, and you're in. If you want to make changes to your fly barless controller, your PIDs are right there. It's back out. If you want to adjust your rates, it's as simple as that. You'll select it, click on something, change, hit save. So then save. So it's not moving. Yeah. Yes. And just like that, we made a change to our pitch, our uh, max rate. So let's set that back. Let's hit save. Boom, and the changes are saved to the fly barless system. Okay. Uh, governor, tail rotor, advanced, hardware. The menus has been, have been shuffled around a, a little bit just to make things easier to get to and kind of have a system to it. So um, one more thing I'd like to show everyone before we move on to the XD Fly is how easy it is to change the themes on Rotorfly dashboard. So we will go to general and we'll hit dashboard, themes. And right now there's a custom theme for me, uh, but we can go to the default for your pre-flight. Uh, and you can also change default for in-flight and your post flight, you can also change that. So we'll just hit save. And Rotoflight, uh, the version of dashboard I'm running has some optimizations to it. So it's, uh, it's running really fast. It's, it's actually pretty impressive. So we just back out to see the changes that we just made applied. The overlay gives you the version of Rotoflight that you're on and boom. Everything is pre-programmed, your audio, your switches, you just uh, decide where you want your rates and profile switches to be and it automatically uh, gives you the readout. Okay, so let's go into the XD Fly now. We'll page over. Go back into Rotorfly dashboard. We'll go hardware and ESC tools. Uh, there's multiple options here for ESCs that are supported, but right now we're focusing on XD Fly. 
And just like that, we're in. Uh, you get the software version that you're on, and you have the menu system broken down into three folders, basically. So we have basic, which allows you to do forward programming for your BC voltage. You can take it all the way up to 12 volts, which is the new standard. Uh, make sure you have 12 volt servos. <laughs> uh, you can adjust the motor direction, clockwise, counterclockwise. Counter you can adjust your startup power and the LED color. It's a really nice touch. Let's, uh, let's do that. So what color you, uh, you want to see, Belen? Let's go for green. Let's go green, yeah, green. Let's go with green. Green means good okay. to fly. Green is good to fly. So yeah. you hit save and get the LED. Ooh. That was that was pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Yep. So it's just as simple as we can change the color of the LEDs in the ESC. It's mm. just as simple you can make a change for one of the internal parameters. The smart fan. This is kind of the icing on top for XD Fly. Everyone that I've came across who used it, they adore this fan. So the system is powered up, the heli is ready to fly, but the fan is off because mm. it's temperature controlled. So, you know, you're working on the bench, you're making some adjustments, or you're setting up your heli, you don't have the fan screaming in your mm. ear. That's, that's great. So you have the option to I turn that. I stupid fans yeah. that just run all the freaking things. They just go, go, go. <laughs> I'm like, I'm flying in the winter. I don't think the fan you don't need, need to run. You don't need the fan. All right, so now let's go to the advanced menu. Here, we have uh, options for your timing, your motor timing. I leave mine at auto. You have the acceleration, which uh, can be between normal, slow, and very slow, and fast, actually. All right. We have the brake force, which we don't use for helicopters. We have the SR function. The SR function is similar to, um, what was that? Hobbywing has a similar function that allows you to uh, run a lower RPM. It's called the synchronous rectification. That's what it's called. Uh, you have your capacity correction. Uh, what this does, it allows you, if you're flying by the milliamps, and let's say the milliamps that your system is reading doesn't match the, what you're putting back into the batteries, uh, this allows you to make some adjustments to get it to match up better. So you can go negative 10%, positive 10%, what, uh, whatever suits your desired needs. Uh, we have the auto restart time, basically auto bailout and you have your cell cutoff. I like to keep my cell cutoff at off. <laughs> I don't want my helicopters falling out of the sky. Yeah, uh, but too. you know, a lot of people run it at 3.2. Uh, maybe they're flying with a timer and not the milliamps. So they have that extra safety feature, which will give you a, a soft, uh, it'll, it'll lower the head speed. So it mm -hmm. gives you a, a, a visual indication that your battery is, uh, it's time to land. Okay, so those are the options that are in the advanced menu. Uh, we can go, we have one more, which is the governor menu, which here you can select the type of governor you, you are flying. So I have mine set to fixed wing because I'm running the rotor fly governor, uh, but you have the option to go in and you can hit external governor, which will also allow you to run an external governor, or you can do the ESC's internal governor, which would be something like Gov store. Okay. And if you're running GovStore, you have the parameters uh, for your P and I gain to adjust the reactiveness of the governor, the internal ESC governor. It's right here. So it's, it's super easy to access. It's laid out nicely. I, I love how simple it is to get in and make changes. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone gets out there and gives them a shot. Thanks, dude. So. That was a brief overview of Rotorfly dashboard and the new XD Fly ESC, the 195. So, enjoy. <laughs>